Ladies and gentlemen, here is your Wednesday stock review. Boom! Hey traders from around the world, welcome to your Wednesday real life stock review. So looking at the broader markets, the SPY, we're kind of just chilling today. Most likely going to have an inside day, and this is why. I'm traveling internationally starting tomorrow, so I am going on a little bit of a tiny vacation. Me and my wife will be in, or is it my wife and I, will be in Aruba for the next week. And generally, when I travel international, the market does one of two things. It either crashes or it surges. 99% of the time, it crashes. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Again, it doesn't have to. I could easily see something like this. And we get a little bit of a bigger drop. That makes a lot of sense or make a new high. Because if we look at the Dow Jones, we still have an unfilled gap on the Dow up here. So check this out. This is a real unfilled gap. So I do think this gap needs to fill very, very soon. If it doesn't, that's really not the best news ever. If we take out this low, I would say in the next um, two, three days, eventually, Eventually, I think we all know that the Dow and the broader markets need to pull back a little bit more healthy into the 100 or eventually the 200. I do think that can happen sometime in the summer, but either way, I'm watching for individual stocks and I am playing a very healthy blend of both longs and short. One of the short trades that we have out there right now is EverQuote, E-V-E-R, and we got in bearish when it closed below this huge bullish volume. Right now, it's not working, and that's okay. We do have a decent blend of bull trades as well. One of those bull trades, Piedmont Lithium, which actually also is not really doing anything too incredible right now. Playing this based off of this hammer, inside candle, inside candle breakout pattern. So we are in bullish here, right there with a stop loss right here. Don't know if it works yet, but definitely keep in close eye on it. Speaking of keeping a close eye, watch TIGR very closely. Love this inside candle. Love this gap and go. Love this location, the volume, everything. This is a great trade and one I will absolutely be getting into, depending on how we close today. Most likely entry like that, stop like that, um, right around here. Nice little inside compression, beautiful move. Very, very ready for a pop. Absolutely going to be playing that one. NVIDIA team, this is huge news, I think, on NVIDIA. I, this is really, really incredible that NVIDIA is going to be having a split. And this split is going to be coming up in the next few weeks. So this is a really, really massive deal, I think, for NVIDIA. I think a lot of people want the opportunity to buy some shares of this one. And generally, what most stocks do is they run up a little bit into the split announcement. And then after the split announcement comes out, they have a little bit of a tank session. And then we go higher. Obviously, I don't know if that's going to happen exactly on NVIDIA or not, but I can say I do have limit buys down at 584, 4, 564, and all the way down here with this little double bottom neckline at 535. Just buying a few small shares because, again, with this split uh, coming up, you'll get more shares at a lower price point. Once that consolidation takes place, I think NVIDIA can go higher, especially based on this weekly consolidation that really hung out for a while Overall trends high. I like the split a lot. Zscaler had a really, really powerful gap today. Here's the daily chart on Zscaler. Nice high wave candle presently, but it is a really good gap. The reason it didn't crush today was because of this resistance right here and the fact that it's already up 12%. So if I pop in here to a five minute chart, what you'll notice on Zscaler is we did trade right up to that resistance and had a nice, nice upper shadow. This is what some traders in the room right now are actually shorting based on that particular candle, right? Entry below that candle, take off some position and just kind of ride it out. I do think Zscaler most likely throughout the day will probably chop around, do one of these guys, come down here a little bit and just kind of hang out and, and relatively flat with that high wave candle. But overall, really good gap and it's one that you probably do want to keep your eyes on. At least that's what I think. All right, Palantir. Everyone's excited about Palantir to finally do something, including your girl, Kathy Wood. It's been taking forever, and there's a lot of resistance for Palantir to break through, but I do think it can. This right here is actually called a rest after battle candlestick pattern, which is a bullish signal. And again, May the 11th, most likely marking the low for Palantir. It's going to compress. It is going to trade sideways for a little bit. Um, let it do so. Don't be super, super aggressive on this trade. You will have plenty of time later once it consolidates, once it chills, once it chops around and then eventually breaks higher. That is a strong possibility. Again, in my personal opinion, I think a lot of these stocks that we're in are going to be slow, arduous. They're going to take their sweet, sweet time to do anything interesting. But eventually in the next few months later throughout the year, we'll have a great, great bullish opportunity. 
but it's going to bore people to tears first. Okay, Upwork. I do have um, calls on Upwork. I also have shares on Upwork. This is one of the stocks that I'm most bullish on right now, and it's holding pretty well. I like this one a lot. So UPWK, you'll notice this blue line is the 100 simple moving average. That's what acting as resistance right now. I do have a $50 covered call on this one expiring um, June, regular June. So I have no problem getting called away there if it happens. I got a dollar, so really I might, my cost basis will be 51. If I get called away there, I'll just sell more puts to get put some more shares on Upwork or just buy some more limits. But either way, um, I have a nice position in Upwork. I like it a lot. I'm excited to see what it does. Overall, I'm bullish. Pinterest. So Pinterest had a beautiful pullback into the 200 simple moving average. It most likely will consolidate and hang out down in this general area for a while. If you're playing Pinterest, uh, be patient. Can, um, accumulate. Let it do its thing. Let it hang out. So the 200 simple moving average, you can see this really nice red line, nice little hammer today. I do expect Pinterest to chop around. Most people who are playing Pinterest are in either a pyramid or some type of accumulation phase, um, which means that they're just buying smaller, smaller size over time. Um, if we come all the way out to here, your volume, really no volume at all in this gap, right? So this gap remains unfilled, but you have a lot of volume up around the $70 price range. So again, based on that perspective, I'm thinking we'll probably trade up to here, pop around and do one of these for a while. A lot of stocks are going to do this. They're going to bore you to tears. Most traders are going to get impatient and they're going to be exiting their positions. But overall, I do think this one has a nice opportunity to go higher in the future. Okay, last but not least, my friends, another stock split, Trade Desk. Really, really intriguing. You had a pretty nice pullback, I think, on Trade Desk. So from its previous all-time highs all the way down was about 50%. That's a nice retracement overall. That's healthy, that's normal, that's needed, and I'm glad it's happening. If you come over here to a weekly chart, you can see that we had a good pullback into the 10. Overall trend is bullish, and I am personally going to be picking up some shares of this one to have it in my longer-term account. Uh, with the 10 for 1 stock split coming up, if you buy 10 shares right now, you'll have 100 shares at 50 bucks, which means you'll be able to do covered calls on them. So yeah, I'm actually going to be picking up some shares on this one. I like it. I dig it. I'm intrigued by it. And if after the split, we consolidate, chop around, and again, trade sideways for a while, I do think in the next year and a half to two years, this will be higher. A lot of stocks will. I think this is a really good opportunity, a really good pullback. So many beautiful opportunities out there. My friends, I will be back sometime next week. But between now and then, keep your eyes on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for enriching lives with us. Thank you for being a part of this community. Let me know. Let us know how we can guide and assist you. And make sure you pop over to, of course, reallifetrading.com and check out all the cool goodies that we got going on for you. I heard a Memorial Day sale is right around the corner for our Lake Tahoe retreat. Keep your eyes on that and just watch for all the videos we post on a daily basis for all the real life traders out there all over the world. Team, friends, family, you are incredible. I'll see you later. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye. Bam. That was your Wednesday real life stock review. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I really appreciate you helping us with our mission, which is to enrich lives.